Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Interesting that it is your energy that shows up first. There's something eating away at your heart that needs to be released or at least addressed. This is sort of the Roto-Rooter card. It says there's something that you've pushed down and it is about to come up. So uh, time to let go of whatever is eating away at your heart. Scorpio, this is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading that I do every single week. So there's a new video every week. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content, Scorpio. But it is a timeless message in that the message comes to you when you are meant to hear it, when you are open and receptive to hearing it. And this channel is filled with them. So take a look and see what resonates with you. Got a lot of future happening coming out here. We don't have anything from the past, which is very interesting with this card coming out. Um, remember, guys, that uh, there is... Uh, hold on, let me just get this. There is uh, the opportunity to join the BWOB membership, and I hope that you all do. Um, you can do that right now. Our next abundance share, where you will actually have the chance to collect and uh, partake in money sharing, um, basically per, ca cash for you. <laughs> um, that The next one happens on the summer solstice. So that is June 21st. So you definitely have time to sign up for that now. And I hope that you all will. It also is the membership that enables you to have unlimited access to all of the extended readings. Um, so I hope that you will consider joining. All right, Scorpio. That wasn't right. All right, Scorpio, let's get this right. Let's get this right. Scorpio. Okay. Just when I said there was nothing in the past, but there is. And I think that the reason why this card is showing up is because you are ready to let go of it. You don't, well, this isn't even, I apologize, guys. Um, you are ready to let go of it. This is the time. Um, Let's look at the past. Be loyal to oh, be loyal to what you love. You are ready to let go of the way that you have seen loyalty, your definition of loyalty, or any obligations that you've been holding on to, anything that's been hurting you because I have to be loyal. It's almost like that that it's almost like you're awakening to a realization that you, your loyalty has become your trap and that your loyalty has actually become the sweet thing that you tell yourself um, to disguise from yourself that you are, are not happy or that you are um, taking too much shit and allowing too much shit by saying, well, this is just loyalty. Okay, time to let go, time to let go. It could also be time to let go of a family member, um, a, a type of family, the way that your family unit used to look, something that has been sitting and weighing on you because it, at one point, it was something that was wonderful and worked. Time to let go of that image in your head because what is happening right now? What is going on right now? There's a pain that's being caused because of your idea of loyalty. Let's look into the future a little bit. 
We have turned knowledge into wisdom. On some level, you've already foreseen this. You've already foreseen it happening. You already know what is supposed to exist. Um, it's like that place where time, past and present don't exist. This is the nebulous, the moon. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. You're ready to level up. Uh, and then we have what? We have sing your own song, which is freedom and being liberated. And, and finally, not too long from now, being able to say, it's almost like you're processing. You, you now get it. Somebody has manipulated your loyalty or you've manipulated yourself under the guise of, but I'm just being loyal. And it's, it's like, that is the, tr that is, that is what's coming to the surface. That is the truth. That is that hidden thing that maybe you didn't want anybody to see or that, that was being disguised or yeah, by the moon, this deception. So you've taken enough, you've gone far enough to finally say to yourself, I'm ready to, to confront the truth of this falsehood. I'm ready to confront this illusion um, by singing my own song, by singing my own song and being truthful and being honest, being on the surface, letting that out. This could even be howling at the moon, being able to let your wilder, untamed aspects out, your primal aspects out, <laughs> let yourself go loyal to what you love, but have you been loyal to yourself? That That's the real question. We have watch and wait. This is Piscean energy. So it's like somebody has been sitting here expecting you or knowing somehow. It's like people have always known eventually this would come out. There could be a secret that is about to be told, an announcement of some sort. Maybe it's not such a horrible thing. It's just been eating you away because you're tired. You're, you're tired of holding on to it, right? So it doesn't have to be so negative. It could just be that you're holding on inside. This is something that you really want to announce. This is something really beautiful and you're, you're done. You can't hold on to it. Even one more day, even one more second. You can't, you can't hold on to it. You've got to let it out. In which case you will let it out. You've been, you've been waiting for this moment. This is soon, or this is this week to just let it out. And then we have life is a mystery. So there's still unexpected and know your worth. I I honestly still feel, and I know that people will see this as more negative, but I still feel that somebody doesn't know who they're fucking with. And um, they just done fucked around and found out. And it's because you have just tried to be loyal and held it in and sucked it up that you haven't wanted to let on that anything is going on or anything is happening. But ultimately, people are going to be shocked because, like... What do, they, what do they always say? The disguise that Superman wore was Clark Kent. He was really Superman. Right? And, and that's kind of what it is. People are not even going to realize what you're about. They don't, they don't even get that you're capable. You've been keeping something, a part of you, a primal aspect of you, in so that you can make somebody else comfortable or play a role that you thought you were obligated to play. And that time has come to an end. This Aries energy is playing on you hard because don't forget it is Mars adjacent and you are always impacted by Mars and Mars right now, this whole week is going to be um, conjunct to Saturn. So it's like not taking any guff, right? It's, all, it's also a feeling of such repression of your energy that it's just, I can't take it anymore. That kind of energy. So Let's dig in, please, Scorpio. How is this going to play out? What is this? What, what do they have to let go of? What do they have to let go of? How good you are at something. How incredible your life is. Um, Page of Pentacles is there was a missed opportunity. Maybe... maybe there was what missed opportunity? Oh, it's almost like somebody here is holding on to like they enjoy their life. They enjoy what they're doing. And they've kind of made a false promise to somebody to say, I will. I will. Oh, they've let somebody believe that there's a new, a new 
possibility, a new potential or something coming and it's not. It's actually not because the person doesn't actually want it. What they really love is, this is you probably, or someone you're dealing with, what they really love is their independence. What they really love is being able to, you know, you know, spend money on themselves and and take care of themselves and and be and be free to do that. They don't they don't want that obligation of the something different or the something new. This is Aries energy and so you're dealing with a divine counterpart here that's probably stressing you out even more than because ultimately this is definitely a person that you're immensely attracted to. But you you need your independence and you need your space or somebody needs their independence and they need their space. And if y'all have been talking about getting something new, having a baby, adopting a dog, they don't really want that. They don't or you don't really want it. And it's been eating away at your heart because you want the person who wants that. But you don't really want what they want. And you think, oh, I might lose them or really might change the game if I actually let them know this is how I feel and what I'm thinking. Well, you're not going to have a choice. And I know you don't, you don't like to have control taken away from you, but this is the universe we're talking about. And you've got to, you've got to genuflect to it. You know, you've got to understand that it's more powerful than you. You've got to be who you are. And this is coming out. So whoever's little secret has been kept because, oh, I want this. I want this connection. I want this person. But they don't really want that person wants or that something that they feel is important to them. So what is this? What What is it? What is it? We have... Um, something that somebody has been taking meticulous care of they've been carrying the burden for a while they've been doing it for a while i don't think they want to keep doing it they they have they've been maybe they, or maybe somebody's been working really really hard this somebody would be you this is the queen of cups somebody's been working really really hard or or somebody's been working really hard to impress something impress upon somebody or to convince somebody of something but i think this is like but i've been doing this work for so long it makes me feel good about myself you know, I, 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 I did this. I, I created this. And um, I ultimately like it and don't want to change it. And that's what you've been keeping secret. That's what somebody's been keeping secret. This is Pisces. They've been doing this for a long time. Or you've been, somebody's been doing this for a long time. Pisces keeps coming up. It, it could just have to do with the moon. You're keeping it secret. But, or I've wanted to do this. This is something that I've been creating for a long time. Well, create it, activate it, be in it. And even if somebody else doesn't want you to do it, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. What matters is being honest and being truthful and not basing any relationship you have on a lie. So maybe somebody has been doing this work behind somebody's back. Right? It's been something, somebody's been carrying on for quite some time. You know, slow and steady wins the race. It's been going on. People have been very, very careful. They've been very careful because they wanted to keep it secret. They've been very careful to keep it secret. And it's been going along for a while. So what is the secret? Bam. So what is the secret? The magician, it's you. It's what you've been working on. It's what you've been creating or what you are capable of. So you have been taking yourself down many notches to stay with somebody that you felt you had to diminish yourself for. Yeah. But you know what's going to surprise you? This is coming out first. Let's, let's, get, let's get what's going on now first, right? If you do this, you will feel balanced. And it'll put the partnership back into balance because right now the lack of balance is because you making decisions based on what you think they want, or what you, the, the version of you that you think they want. When in reality, they just want fucking you and you don't have to hide or pretend or putz around anymore. And a lot of times we deceive just to get people and suck them in. And ultimately there's just that sense of 
but they love you. They want to love you. It's actually putting more of a burden on them because they feel like they have to keep up a facade or, or all this stuff. And it's going to actually balance things out. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius because we have Queen of Wands along with Temperance here. But I think this is taking back your creative prowess, your creative abilities, taking back your creative courage and being able to move forward in your own way, get some of your autonomy back. Does it mean that the relationship is over? No, it doesn't. It means that it, this is my feeling, it will actually be strengthened because you have shown your shown up you've shown your true fire kind of making something work with somebody who is really future focused really just wants to move forward uh we got to get a moon card here what is what does the moon have to say what does it say right luck is on your side a fiery climax approaches y'all about to have it out because you need to. That's what it's saying. It's going to explode out of you. It's done. You don't have a choice. You need to get it out of you. Then you need to confront this. There's a con confrontation that's going to happen. That is actually very fortunate. It's very lucky because it's almost like you've been holding back and they've been holding back because you think that's what the other, the other wants. And that's not what the other wants. Y'all both need to stop holding back right? It's very lucky. The confrontation is about to happen. This is about a, a Aries energy. That is, it's not a full moon. It's a new moon in Aries. This eclipse is going to release a lot. Like it's going to make it impossible for us to hold on to it. It's too hot. It's going to explode out of you is what it's saying. And you are going to be very lucky around this moon time. You're going to be very lucky because you're more confrontational, because you're not putting up with that bullshit, because you're ready to argue, you're willing to argue. You've been trying to be a little bit too pacifist, which is why the only way to do it was to continue to bury, 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 right? Bury your, what you've done is bury yourself or somebody's been burying themselves. And I have to tell you, I can confirm the other person's actually missing the real you, you know? Isn't that funny? Contro Better stop. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. If you, Scorpio, unleash everything you're capable of, nobody can control you. It's an impossibility. You've been putting yourself vulnerable because you've been pretending or suppressing and that's making you heavier it's making you more vulnerable let's go to the extended i cannot wait i will see you guys there